In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this stretching 12 transition effect in Premiere Pro. So as you can see over here, I've imported some clips onto my timeline that I would like to apply these effects to. So the first thing you're going to do is to move over to your effects and search for the iris round effect and apply this effect in between your two video clips over here. Now select this video transition and move over to the effects control panel and set the duration to 35 frames and set the alignment to center at cut. Now the next thing you want to do is to move back to your effects library and search for the 12 effect and drag the 12 effect under this dot onto your first clip over here. Let me zoom in. Now the next thing you want to do is to move over to the first frame of this transition over here and hit the left key 8 times to move back 8 frames and select your first clip over here and move over to the effects control panel over here and set keyframes to angle and increase the 12 radius to 35. Now move over to the last frame of the transition over here and move back to the effects control panel and change the angle to 425 to create another keyframe. Now if we go back and scale through you can see what we have created over here which is beginning to look nice, but the only problem is that at some positions, you can see these black bars showing over here. So to take that out, what we're going to do is to zoom in from this transition. So select your first clip over here and use this left arrow to move back to the first keyframe here. Move over to the first keyframe here. And at this position, you move up to scale and, and select this toggle animation next to scale. Now move back to this right arrow here and select it to move over to the next keyframe. And at this position, you want to increase the scale to 250 to create another keyframe. And if we go back now and swipe through, you can see what we have created. And that's it guys on how to create this stretching 12 transition effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.